Hey yo, and welcome to Metal Heroes, where we are celebrating the treasure trove of robot masters across the Mega Man franchise. Today we are excavating Dr. Kosak number 32, the stone cold bona fide soldier, Skull Man. Skull Man was created by Dr. Kosak, after being forced to fight Mega Man when Wily kidnapped his daughter. Like Rain Man before him, Skull Man was built specifically for fighting, with well-balanced defense and offensive capabilities. He is a brilliant strategist with a meticulous attention to detail. However, fighting is all that he knows. Having never been taught anything else, he lacks in other areas and has a tendency to alienate himself, even among his comrades. And among his colleagues, he's known for having bad taste and lacking emotions, stemming from the fact that his design is based on the living dead. And befitting of his motif, Skullman is a big fan of horror movies. Skullman's humanoid build is equipped with a buster cannon in his right arm and 16 shotguns concealed in his ribcage, making him a threat at any range. In addition to his immense offensive capabilities, Skull Man can generate an electromagnetic field around himself, coupled with a set of six skull-like discs that appear from the mouth of his shoulders. This is the Skull Barrier. The barrier restricts his mobility, but while activated, allows him to attack foes without the need to evade attacks. Skullman's abilities represent the culmination of Dr. Kosak's skills in the field of robotics. His skull motif, however, was designed to look like the complete opposite of Kosak's ideals. Kosak is ashamed of Skullman's existence, making Skullman, who normally is emotionless, resentful and bitter towards his creator. Skull Man was designed by contest winner Yoshiyuki Miyachi. During the development of Mega Man 4, Skull Man's fan submitted design was so well received by Capcom that no one made any touch ups or alterations. Not only that, but an entire stage was scrapped to create a new one from scratch to make room for Skull Man and give him a stage befitting of his motif. Skull Man's catchy tune was composed by Minai Fuji. Mega Man 4 1991. Skull Man, interestingly enough, will not attack Mega Man until Mega Man makes the first move. Skull Man will retaliate with his Buster Cannon and then follow up by jumping and activating his Skull Barrier. With the barrier active, he proceeds to try and clash with Mega Man. But Skull Man will not repeat this pattern until Mega Man makes another move. Skull Man's weakness is the Dust Crusher. Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy 1992. 
Skullman is one of four bosses found within the Wily Castle. And yet again, like the other Robot Masters, his pattern remains similar. Mega Man Soccer 1994. Skullman is a playable character, and he's one of the more balanced characters. His special kick, the Skull Shoot, buries the competition. Mega Man 7, 1995. In the museum stage, Skullman's fossil is on display in the background. Mega Man 8, 1996. Skullman makes a cameo appearance in the game's cinematic opening. There you have it, Skullman. He may be a bit boneheaded when it comes to social situations, but in combat, he's bad to the bone. So guys, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, maybe drop a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more content. And we're not quite done yet. We're gonna throw a couple more characters a bone before we put this season to rest. So with that said, until next time, Denden, Den, signing off.